All right, men. Some of you may die, but that is a chance I'm willing to take. Hey, what is going on, everybody? Right here playing some Ark Survival Evolved, getting stuck on rocks. Um, today with a mod that is by far one of my favorite mods so far, and yes, that is even including with the Stormtrooper Helmet mod, which is just the additional armor set mod. Basically, this spectacular creation, which don't worry, I'm not going to get sidetracked for another month on mod reviews and leave the series alone. I will always go back to it. Oh, by the way, say hello to Cortana, our little dragonfly. The mod is Rideable Dodos, or Rideable Apex Dodos. Alpha Dodos can now be ridden, is the gist of it. Where's, um, I have one over there. I am on the Dodo Island map mod. So yeah, I kind of got them stacked right now. The Dodo Island map mod, um, let's see if I have, there's some kind of flying beast around here. We'll fly up and get a scope for those of you who don't know what it looks like. Basically, the entire map is outlined like a dodo. That right there over there is a foot. There's a foot over there. I think we're on, like, towards the back over here. The head's way over there. I figured what better place to, um, to ride a giant ass dodo. So if he's not going to come back, we're just going to spawn more. Because since this is a very small map, and you know what, it's a mod review too, so I don't want to um, just go, God, look how cool this is, look how sick this map is, it's got the falls and everything. Actually, Cortana, the reason the dragonfly is over there just chilling is because he was, or she was following me, and she followed me into the stream, where she no longer had movement strength, and was pulled downstream, and pretty much sucked to the waterfall. Actually, I kind of just zoned out and left her alone, and then miraculously she appeared over there, I don't even know how she got out of it. Since they're not allowed to be tamed unless you use dev commands, they um, or admin commands, they really can't do nothing. Okay, so, ooh, why'd I run away? I had just gathered the supplies for a Apex Dodo saddle. For those of you who haven't seen this mod where you get additional armor, because this, this, this is not what the mod review is about, I'm just wearing it because I think we should always wear Stormtrooper helmets, or Storm Pooper helmets, this is what it includes, right, meow. It includes the, let's see, Norse chestplate, Norse leggings, immortal helmet, stormtrooper head, camo boots, gauntlet, helmet, leggings, and chest piece. Generally some badass armor. The Norse stuff is cool, the immortal's helmet is awesome, but the stormtrooper helmet just cannot be defeated. The fact that I'm in my underwear just makes it so much better. Okay, so run over here to our little safe, our vault, to where art thou supplies are kept, and let me see here. I'm an idiot. I forgot I had just taken things out and put them on me enough to create one Apex Dodo saddle. Hell yes, dude. When are these going to be introduced? I guess it'll never be really that official or that legit to um to ride a giant bird. It's not very realistic. If you want to ride a giant bird, pick a, a T-Rex or a Raptor. <laughs> Basically what I'm saying is I doubt these will be implemented into the actual game because it would kind of take a lot of the realism out, even though... um. Even though taming a T-Rex and a Spino kind of takes a little bit out anyways, this would just make it ridiculous. Cartoon funny land. Alright. Where the hell's the saddle? What the hell? I put the saddle on. Oh, come on, you glitchy ass. Maybe when I hop on, then the saddle appears? Nope. Look how hysterical this is. This is exactly why I had to have a Stormtrooper helmet. Can you be ridden? Oh, I have too much stuff on me, of course. But what a world, man. What a world. I'm in my underwear, riding a giant bird, wearing a stormtrooper helmet. Nothing else I'd rather be doing right now. Okay, obviously the metals and the wood is gonna weigh him down. The crystals can't be helping either. You're just gonna have to deal with the pike, you damn bird. I need a weapon. And we're mobile! Oh man, this is it! This is the climax of life right here. Oh, and it jumps and sprints. That is perfect. Riding- Oh god, he just goes over those rocks perfectly. It's not even a little glitch. It's actually one of the cleanest rides I've written, or ridden. But when I uh, when I rid the Tameable Titan Boa, the Tameable Titan Boa mod, that snake couldn't move for shit. All right, we're gonna go um there. I just maxed out him or hit maxed him out with infinite stats, and now I just want to super boost his movement speed. I want a lightning dodo, damn it! Oh, of course he's apex, so he gets to be boosted so much. I mean, not like that high level. He's only level 53. Definitely gonna spawn a bunch more of him in a second. I just had to get one going. Look at that movement speed! I didn't even cover this last time because I, um, I didn't know, but the drop crates on this island look like giant dodos! If I could tame this, I would be so happy. It's like riding a big, big fluffy raptor. This is exactly how it feels. Oh, look, now, um, now we are at the dodos. See, there's the dodos, like, eyeball over there. There's its beak going out. It is just one giant perfect dodo. I did cover it in another map mod review, though, so I'm not going to. Actually, where I originally covered the, um, Stormtrooper helmet. Wow, this video is oddly familiar to that. Luckily, we're riding dodos now, so it's a whole new world. 
Dude, this is such an all-terrain creature. I know as I say that, he gets... Oh, what are you doing here? We have... Oh, this is like the perfect little dodo trail. Keeping us safe from the cats. Nothing to worry about. Life is in our palms. The gliding aspect is perfect, too. Too bad you can't actually glide or fly. You flightless bird. <laughs> but you definitely drift out in like a direction is what I'm getting at. Watch. I'm getting up to the highest point on the map. Which is not high at all. And then jumping! Oh, make it! Make it! Oh, thank the lord. I thought we took bird damage. I forgot he has stats on. Oh, water. Can we float in water? Can we peck, actually? We can. We're actually a pretty formidable foe. Let's go duke it out with one of these cats, dude. <laughs> Are we winning? Well, I guess we have infinite stats on, so we can't lose, but... We are certainly not winning, but can we... Can we ditch these cats? Yeah, that's right. For faster than sabers, we are accomplishing something in life. All right, now can we float? No, we can't float like a bird. I was hoping for, for super bird floatage. We've all seen birds just chilling in the water. Just floating. Oh, you bastard. You let me down. Thank God those cats didn't follow us over here. That would have been the end of... Well, I guess the end of neither of us. We both have infinite stats on. But still, get out of here. You're taking jumps at me out of the water. Savage. Alright guys, meet the general. He is the highest ranking naturally spawned one. I just got this small posse going, but I figured they're like about one third, one half the size of my normal dodo armies, but I figured since they're the size of me, that we generally shouldn't have any issues. Yeah, they're, they're taller than I am. God, that's a badass picture. That looks like the start of the most random, weirdest rap album in the world. <laughs> I wouldn't even know what to expect if I saw this movie poster, but I would sure as hell see the movie. Okay, so you, let's just get the general. I want movement speed up super high. I think he'll be about level 60, right? Ooh, let's get you in the 70s if we can. That's what I'm talking about. 80s? Oh, man. If I could get a much higher level spawned one, I'd for shizzle wood, but it looks like 80s is the best we're going to get right now with these apex birds. Definitely hauls ass, though. Definitely feel like the leader of the most evil squadron there ever was to exist. If we attack the rebels like this, they'll never see it coming. For real though, if these things attacked a city, bigger than a person, you could easily clamp an arm in that beak. It'd be fucked up. Alright, so now, what should we take on, boys? God, look at this. I need to run servers like this. <laughs> I need to be the nuisance that, you've, that you have nightmares about, that one day you're going to see him coming over the hill with his little stormtrooper helmet, an army of oversized birds. What's up with these two in the back? What the hell? There's something wrong with those two dodos. They all should be identical, doing identical things. And then these two, just over there, slow and I don't, I, I don't know. Alright boys, get ready! Get him! Get him! What the hell? My screen froze! There we go. There- did it, did it again! Oh my god! My screen didn't freeze, it just locks you into position. That's what it is. These, um, these, these things aren't meant for combat yet. I, I, I keep not being able to view the fight. This is killing me inside. Alright, now. Viewing this one. Okay, see, I'm stuck. Okay, good. I freed myself. Yay. Yay, I'm free. He's coming. Get him. Get him. He's going to charge through all of you. Or he's just going to stop and look at you out of amazement. He's like, holy shit, I ain't never seen this many giant dodos before. Hell no, dude. Hell no. Okay, there we go. Vaporize him. Vaporize him as well. We have a dodo still trapped over there, don't we? It's you. No. No. How the hell? How the hell did you go unconscious? The mammoth knocked him unconscious. Wait, hang on. That doesn't even make any sense to me. Dude, you gotta wake up. These things are beasts. They get into combat and they're so fierce that they don't even die. They just get knocked out. That's actually really cool. Alright, boys. Time to shine. Time to shine. You gotta reclaim us as alphas. Get rid of those. There we go. How could I not fix the gamma right before this battle? Hey, let's fight in the shade so we're not too bright. There we go. We'll be like the 300s. Then we will fight in the shade. Look at that super just edgy backup right there. Look like a giant turkey backing up with a stormtrooper. A naked stormtrooper on top. I look like some guy that saw so much horrible stuff in the wars that I just kind of snapped and took to some like far out island, or not island, some far out planet where I just, no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I don't have stats on, oh, they killed him. Wait, but the stego gets him? Where'd the stego go? Where'd you launch him to? Jesus Christ! They made that sucker fly. Dude, they are still pit. Oh, he's over there. Yeah, he definitely got some distance. Why are you still- Oh, he's, he's the asleep guy. Of course. You genius. How could you forget so quick? And how could you fall asleep when we're fighting T-Rexes? What is the matter with you? It's much easier this way, trust me. 
<laughs> Alright, you guys vaporized that T-Rex. Nobody even died. That, um, that Stego killed a few people, or a few Dodos, because their tail has such a wide range of attack, but so did T-Rexes. I really am curious if we have enough troops to defeat the Broodmother right now, because that's like the ultimate test of Ark at the moment. That's the hardest competitor we could have. She's like always the person I end up spawning once they defeat everything else, the little armies we make. And this army is more fierce than anything we've had in a while. These birds are vicious. Watch them rip this sucker apart without losing anybody. That's what I'm talking about. Of course, the Broodmother is a lot different. I would feel more comfortable with more soldiers. This isn't really an army. It's more of just, um... I don't know what it is, but it's not an army, so we're gonna at least double it before going in against a broodmother, because I don't want to just lead my troops into a slaughter after all this gloriousness. No, no, hell no, that'd be such a waste. Alright, men, some of you may die, but that is a chance I'm willing to take. God, this is glorious. This is one of my finest moments right here. Okay, this is part B of the squadron and part A. Nice, General, you're about to lead a whole other side of soldiers. And I think all together we can defeat the Broodmother. I think we got it, guys. You dodos are sure as hell big enough. You're fierce enough. I'm Stormtrooper enough. I think all around we have the utensils to defeat this son of a bitch. All right. All right, good news and bad news. It appears that I think it's because of the map. I'm having issues spawning the Broodmother, which I kind of just got a little happy about because it's getting kind of repetitive. That's always what I have them fight, and that's just not... The only crazy enemy anymore. There's Alpha T Rexes, there's Cavemen, not Cavemen, Bigfoot, Sam Squatches, Sam Squatches, Sa Sasquatch, Bubbles from a Trailer Park Boys, always calls Sasquatch Sam Squatch, so that's how that got caught in my mind. So I'm thinking a Alpha T Rex would be a pretty good foe. <laughs> You know what? In second thought, this is gonna vaporize all my birds instantly. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way you're not gonna kill everything I own, big guy. Even though you're only level 7, your toenails are bigger than my... I don't know. I don't have anything remotely that big to compare. I don't wanna get weird. Bigger than my a lot of things. Basically, you are freaking huge. Alright, boys. You ready for this? You ready for this get down right here? Because I don't think we're ready for this. I'm 99.9% .9 sure we are not ready for this. Okay, we gotta get this bastard off of Dodo Island. That's the mission, boys. You gotta keep your home place safe. Should I keep the words down so we can see it better, or should I put the words up so we can see who dies? Eh, let's keep them down. They're not named anyways. Don't you start beef? There's bigger shit going on here. No! There's much bigger beef going on here. Oh god, no general! The general has been killed! Get him, boys! Get him! Don't sit! No! No! God! It's the same basic outcome as normal Dodos versus normal T Rex, as Apex Dodos versus Apex T Rex, you idiot! Of course it's gonna be the same basic outcome! The, 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 the Dodos being much bigger doesn't mean shit if the T Rex is much bigger! Oh god! My entire army just vaporized! I wish the general survived. Oh, the general should have stayed out of this. No, he's gonna kill my stormtrooper helmet. The last thing I have that I care about. Get the hell away from me. There's no outrunning this guy, is there? He's too damn big. Your thigh muscles are bigger than states, man. It's not cool. Oh my god, just running away, run past other dodo corpses. I'm the worst leader ever. You know what? The general should have spoken up on his men's behalf. I'm gonna blame this on him when we get back to the states. Oh god! I think I have one more dodo left around here somewhere. One that I don't have to- Why is there raptors here? There's not supposed to be raptors on this island. There's not supposed to be anything with arms on dodo island. It says so in the mod description. And again, there aren't supposed to be alpha T-Rexes. I think it's me. I'm not supposed to be here. No! Damn it! My dodo's gone! Died for sure! Wait, where'd where, where it go? I was like in third one. I'm not even sure if I- Showed it on camera because it was just for a second. Jesus Christ, this thing is- He's eating me through the wall! Oh my god, this is bullshit! I figured for sure I'd run up here and then lose him. Like, you wouldn't be able to keep up. But he is running perfectly on this thing better than I am! How are you- What?! He's the ultimate predator! <laughs> he's by far the most balanced beast there ever was. Ever will be. And he's cutting around me. Okay, I know how to lose this guy. We're gonna lose him on the cliff. There's my dodo! <gasps> I was looking for it, and sure enough, there he is down there, just jumping like 30 feet in the air. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm mad or impressed. 
I feel like I'm definitely more impressed. He assumed he was abandoned, and he got the hell out of there. Okay. Should be safe here. No, I gotta get on that, though, to be safe there. How is this at all safe? This is just a bigger issue. Oh, I've got it. Follow me down deep, won't you? Jerk. No! 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 I wanted to... No! Did you eat him? I had the things disabled. I assume you ate him. You big bastard. You ate everything I care about, and now you're gonna drown because you're just too full to even notice that you can't breathe. You know what? This dodo's beautiful and gorgeous, but I just know something bad is gonna happen to it. Anyways, guys, check it out for those of you who haven't seen this yet. God, that is sick. As you might imagine, it's just the helmet skull of a uh, triceratops. Look at that, just tied together with fiber. That is metal as hell right there. Kill a beast, cut its head off, boil its flesh off so you have just the bone, then tie it together and put it back on your face. That's as hardcore as it gets. Oh my god, I forgot how little you guys are. You're just, you're just small beasts. You don't deserve any of this. I feel very bad for all I've done to these people. It's not right, and it shouldn't have happened. So now, I will take off back to my home planet. <laughs> <laughs> this game, man. This game is too funny. This just makes me giddy. It makes me all giddy inside. Like, you know where anything can really just give you butterflies in your stomach? Nothing should make me this happy this easily, but... Holy crap, no, stay out of the water. Just as certain death, we'll be trapped out there forever. I'm sorry, but Jesus, Toto, walking on water over here is just, is just too classy for words. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus, Toto, for sure. Let's go find Judas Dodo and kick his ass. Nope, oh, oh, we've hit the, um, we've hit the end of the world. Careful, if we touch water, we're certainly boned. Oh, well, this is awkward. Is he just gonna, I wonder where you got that helmet from, dick. <laughs> I can assure you this Triceratops was a pure criminal and known child molester. In fact, I probably shouldn't be wearing his helmet on my head. All right, well, in the spirit of the happiest ways to end a Let's Play I've ever seen in my damn life, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. If you guys had a good time watching, smack that like button, subscribe for more. The map mod, the extra armor mod, and the rideable dodos mod links are all in the description, and have a nice day, guys. Peace!